like the story. The online's all I really got it for, to be honest, because everyone else had it, and I thought, you know, I'll get it for the online. So I completed the game on the story mode, and I wasn't too impressed. It wasn't really fun. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I have no reason to lie. It was, it, the, you know, it didn't hit my gaming spot, as I've said before. Red Faction Armageddon. This is, uh, out of all the Red Faction games I've actually played, which is all of them, <laughs> this is actually the most fun. The first one was good, the second one was <laughs> fucking funny, Gorilla was annoying, and I didn't like it that much, and this is the best so far. People may not like it, I love it. I love games where you can go through with all your shit, plus add-ons, plus this, this, and this, and it has different modes. I love it, this game is extremely fun. Buy it if you don't have it. No, it's, it's highly recommended. <laughs> by me. I can get over there. Uh, Halo Reach. Um, I really only got this game because my friends play it. Um, I don't, I'm not too interested in the Halo storyline. It's okay, but as I said, it's just like Call of Duty, I mainly got it for the multiplayer, although I did, I do enjoy the story a bit more than Call of Duty on this one. Um, it's, it's a good game. I actually got the special edition. I don't actually have the box anymore or any of the stuff that came with it, so I thought it was kind of pointless really it's probably like halo fans going what the fuck but no i i i don't really see the point in collectibles i just i just got it because it was there it was cheap and thought fuck it this is all right though <clears throat> uh f1 2010 i hate racing games but this came with the you know my friend selling the five games for 35 quid uh it's a no it's never been played by me um, my friend Jacob has it, or as you know, his cheesers. He has it, and I'll probably play it with him at some point, but other than that, I won't play it at all. Because, you know, I'm not into racing games. <laughs> They're just really sort of annoying. Crisis 2, this game's alright. Um, it does get annoying at times, but it is quite a fun game. I do quite enjoy it. The graphics are amazing, and I, I recommend it, really. It, I, it's a recommendation from me. This is, this is quite a fun game. Um, you know, it's... It's not annoying, annoying, but it has its moments. Uh, X. There we go. Call of Duty 4. Now, I didn't actually mind the storyline on this. I've, I've, I've completed the game, the storyline, and uh, I've played the multiplayer, and I enjoy both of them. I think the multiplayer is quite well balanced, apart from the hackers. Uh, and uh, the, the storyline's not too bad. I actually quite enjoyed the storyline on this game. You know, I recommend this Call of Duty game. <laughs> Halo 3. I didn't actually mind the story on this game. I remember when I first... I actually first... This isn't the original copy. This is like the third copy I own. The first one I sold a long time ago. Then I got another copy. Then got rid of it. And then I got this one. And I'm not getting rid of it. Because this cost me like nothing. So I don't see the point in getting rid of it now. Because there's so many copies of it out there. It's just not going to be worth selling. So... Again, this is a game I mainly got because my friends played it. But I also got it... But I, you know, I tried out the storyline. Because obviously it came with my Xbox. And the game was fun. I did enjoy the storyline, I thought it was quite funny, it was amusing, it was a bit of fun, you know, um, along with the seriousness. I thought the ending was pretty epic as well, I did enjoy the game. Um, not a game I'll play a lot, but it's a game that I would happily replay at some point. Uh, but I do like playing the custom maps online with my friends. Fear 2 Project Origin, I haven't played this one yet. I played the first Fear game and completed it, and I plan on doing a playthrough of it. Um, so, and I've already recorded two sessions, but I recorded them after Shattered Memories, so, you know, <laughs> there's going to be sort of like things that I've, I said all the way back then that have been relevant now, uh, but the first games were good, and I hope this one's the same, unlike Fear 3, which just turned into a shooter. <laughs> Call of Duty World at War, this is my favourite Call of Duty game out of all of them. I don't know why, there's something about this game that I could just come back to and play the story over and over and over again. <laughs> Um, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really unique game, and out of the whole Call of Duty series, this is my favourite. This is my favourite. But it's so a lot of people don't like it. I have no idea why, though. Fear Files, Perseus Mandate, and Extraction Point. I, I, I haven't played this at all yet, because it's the add-ons, and I've, you know, I I'm want to record this, so I haven't played it yet. So you'll see my first experience of this when I get around to recording it. <clears throat> Shadows of Zedamned. This game is incredibly weird, but incredibly fun. Don't get me wrong, just like Resident Evil and many other games of its kind, it has its moments where I want to rip my fucking cock off, but then it also has moments where I want to just grab the game and hug it because it's just so fucking awesome. Um, 
I don't believe you can't go through the game with your uh with your weapons that you that you ended the game off with, like you can in other games. But that's because it has sort of an upgrade system, so I can understand why it doesn't do that. But you know, I happily played through this game. It's a fun game. It has dick jokes because this gun's called the Boner, and uh, it's it's good. I quite enjoyed it, and I don't plan on getting rid of this game whatsoever. So you know, if I don't plan on getting rid of it, it's usually you know, Modern Warfare Three. I haven't even played the storyline on this pile of wank yet. Um, the online's fine, you know, the online is, the only good thing about the online is the infection mode and kill confirmed, everything else is just same old, same old, same old, same old, same old, same old, same old modern warfare call of duty, but still, it's a fun, it's, it's a fun online experience, the story mode I haven't played and I probably will never play, so, yeah. Call of Duty Black Ops. I actually got this game for free. I I, I did actually buy it originally, then I sold it, uh, like I do with a lot of games I don't like really. But I got this game for free because my friend didn't want it, and he said this. He said he hated the game so much that he'd rather give it to me for free than actually make me pay for it. So I got this for free, um, and you know it's 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 nah. I don't really like it very much. The story mode was meh. You know, and the online is irritating, and yeah, no, I, I, I rarely play this game anymore. Right, I think that's all my, th I think that's all my 360 games. Yes, it is. Let's move on to my original Xbox games. I need to stretch my leg now, because it's like, hold on. <coughs> oh, yeah. Alright, Call of, C Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. This game is extremely well made, and I haven't completed it yet. And I've just realised it's made by Bethesda. Huh. Um, but yeah, I haven't completed this game yet, but I have played some of it, and it's fucking creepy, very, very well made, and intense. It is intense, and I absolutely love it. Uh, Dead or Alive Ultimate, I haven't played it yet, but I do like the other Dead or Alive games, you know, because the, the fighting is um, fluent, unlike in some games where it's, like, choppy, the, the fighting's fluent, and I really enjoy this Dead or Alive series. So many games... Uh, Doom 3. This game, I, out of all the Doom games, this is my favourite one. Uh, probably because it's the first one that I saw being played. I didn't um, know the other games were the made the way they were. I do like Doom 1, which is one I have on my Xbox. I haven't got Doom 2 yet. I do want to get that on uh, the N64. Oh, no, no, not the N64, the Super Nintendo, that's it. I will be getting that. Um, you know, but I do like Doom 3. I think it's a very good game, quite creepy. You know, very, very fun. And, you know, I recommend it. I'm getting the limited edition, which comes free with the other game, the other Doom games. I think it's both of the other two. And also getting Resurrection of Evil, which is the add-on to this. Um, so, yeah, but this game's very fun. I do enjoy it. And never, I'm never going to say it. Obscure. Well, you know about Obscure since I've done a playthrough of it. Um, it's quite a fun game, as, as I've said, you know, during the playthrough and that. You know, just watch my playthrough, then, you know, you know how I feel about this game. Red Dead Revolver, yep. Yeah. a fucking sticker! Um, but Red uh, Red Dead Redemption, I've played a little bit of. Um, it's not bad, but I do like Red Dead Revolver. Out of both of the games, I would pick this one to play. It's not as, it's not like open world or anything. It's more sort of... It's linear storyline. But you do get to start again with like your weapons. I think not all of your weapons. like certain weapons you can keep or whatever. But it's a fun game. It's a really fun cowboy shoot em up experience. And I would highly recommend buying this. Tomb Raider Legend. Now, I'm terrible at the Tomb Raider games. I'm very, very fucking terrible at them. But I haven't played this game yet, so I can't really sort of, you know...